getting my tags ready so I'll know which queen has made it where. For example, this is Monument Valley from the Travelees trailer crossed with a location down in southern Utah I call the S-Turn and it'll be the eighth colony that I put down there. The eighth queen will tag this, will staple this onto the the box, the mating nuke, and that way we can keep track of them. Okay, we'll start up the smoker. And the next thing I need to do is look for queens to make sure the queen emerged from her cell okay and to kick out the drone. I'm uh, going through my nukes right now. These are the mating nukes. These all have queens from Monument Valley. These are daughters of purebred queens. So we're going to take them back down and mate them not only with uh, drones in Monument Valley but other places around southern Utah. So we'll have out of this batch about 18 different purebred queens. Some of them within 50, 70 miles away from Monument Valley. So my chore right now is to go through and make sure that the queen cell that they were given a few days ago has emerged. And uh, we have a queen in there that is uh, that looks good. I'll uh, check her just for for general liveliness, make sure wings are good, uh, see that she looks healthy, and pick out any drones that are in there. I don't want drones, so she can only mate with drones that are wild feral drones. Okay, that's the next chore. Here we go. All right, I've set up these mating nukes. I put in a queen cell. I'm checking them today. The queen should have emerged on Tuesday. It's Thursday, so is not too lively yet to find. It should be easy enough. I'm going to make a quick check, first of all, of the queen cell that I put in. So I'll take out the frame with the queen cell stuck to it, and I'll see if she's chewed a nice round hole out of the end of it, like that she has. So I can assume the queen's in here. If I want to take the time to look for her, to make sure, I can, but I'm going to assume everything is okay from that and uh, move on to the next one. Sometimes you can hear the queen in there. She'll be making a noise. I think I did. Deet, deet, deet. A little note to myself. If I place the queen cell away from the center of the cluster, then they take more time to chew it down. So it'll make it easier for me to identify if the queen has emerged or not by looking at the queen cell if it's placed maybe towards the back of the hive in one of the corners or something. Don't place it too far away so that the bees can't incubate it and keep it warm or tend to it. But if I put it right in the middle of the frame in the middle of the cluster, then they chew it all down and then when I look in for the queen bee, I can't tell by, a, by the cell whether she's emerged or not. As I went through these, I only found one out of the 18 that didn't have a queen. Um, I first of all look at the queen cell, and if the end of the cell hasn't been chewed off in a nice round circle, then I suspect that something went wrong and the queen didn't emerge properly. So this one has been chewed out on the sides, so my first clue that there's not a queen in there was this. Next, they were building a whole bunch of queen cells. It's typical to have a queen cell or two started in all of these nukes that we make up, even though we've given them a queen cell. Uh, but this one had a whole bunch. Uh, and so I didn't uh, bother going through all of the frames to check. I'm pretty sure it's queenless. What I'll do is take and give them another queen. It's nice to have a batch of queen cells that's coming up a few days later after the initial one. Uh, that way when you encounter one that something uh, isn't right, you'll have another queen cell to put in. 
I want the timing on these queens all to be the same, so I'm going to leave this one here. I'm not taking it out to the location with the, my other mating nukes. I'm going to take these frames out of this colony and leave it here. As I go through these colonies, I'll find the drones and I'll, I'll take them out. Of course, I want the queen to mate with the wild feral drones and not with any drones that came with her in her colony or with one of the other mating nukes. So the best time to go through a colony and looking for drones that need to be removed is in the morning. Drones will fly to their congregation areas in the afternoons, two o'clock till evening, depends on how warm the, the temperature is, depends on how much daylight you have. I've seen the drones come in as late as six or eight in the evening in the summertime. So, but if I go through in the morning, then the drones are home, I can take them out, remove them, rather than have them be out flying. So I think I've removed the drones, yet they come back later on. Take a queen cell. Put it in, this queen cell will come out on the 14th, a couple more days. We'll check on it, make sure everything went well when we get back.